YouTube. It's your boy back with another one. Proud to carry. And I'm always proud to carry as you guys should be. Especially if you're you pro Second Amendment rights, you always be proud to carry and defend yourself and defend your loved ones. So yeah, back with another one. I know it's been a while with all this pandemic stuff going on, the rioting, the looting, the COVID-19, it's just, it's just been crazy. And um, I am an essential worker. I'm not gonna tell you what I do, but I am an essential worker. And um, yeah, when, when all this stuff, when everybody started panic buying all the firearms and everything, I wasn't able to get the stuff that I wanted to do for the video. I procrastinated before all this stuff went on and that's what happened. So my advice to you guys, if you ever, you know, want something, when it comes down to the firearm community, if you guys want something, get it. Don't wait, don't procrastinate because when stuff get bad and you can't get it, you're going to wish you had it. Trust me, you're going to wish you had it. So it's a good thing it didn't go that far. And all we can do is pray for the best, hope for the best, prepare for the worst. So without further ado, if you like what you see on my videos, like, comment, subscribe. And I'm going to keep the content coming. If there's anything that you want to see me do, any suggestions, I will be sure to try to get that in for you best way I can. So, yeah, as you can tell by the title of the video, I will be doing an unboxing of the new Taurus G3C. Now, when this G3C first came out, I got an email from Taurus. Uh, I am on a subscription list, and um, I did get an email from Taurus let me know that they dropped the Taurus G3C. And I was just wondering, like, when when is it available? So it took me a lot of searching and searching and searching to find it. And I finally ended up finding it online. And... I was able to get it. I ordered it. it. Took like a week to come. I was glad I was able to get it. I was actually thirsty uh, because I was trying to get a something more subcompact than my Glock 19 to carry. You know what I mean? Because with my concealed carry, so I wanted something that was a way a little bit more subcompact. I tried looking for the Glock 26, Glock 27, 43. I mean the Glock 43, the Springfields. I mean every, everything that's subcompact. I tried to find it, could not find it because of, everybody bought it. So. Um, <laughs> so yes, I was able to get my hands on this. I was even looking at the Troy G3, I mean G2C. And the reason why I was trying to get the Troy G2C was because my mother-in-law, she has one. And when I saw hers, I mean, I held it in my hand. I was like, oh, this fits right. I mean, it fits beautiful in my hand. So I like the, the ergonomics of it and it felt right. So I wanted, I wanted to try it too. I didn't shoot it. But I want it because, I mean, you feel good in your hand. You know, once you feel good in your hand, you, you feel like you got all control of it. When you're on that range, you, you, nine times out of ten, if you know what you're doing, you're going to be real accurate with it. As it feel good in your hand. So, it gives you that confidence. So, um, yeah, so without further ado, I will be doing, the, it's not really an unboxing because I have been carrying, I haven't took it to the range yet, but I'm going to get a shooting video on that. But, I have been still carrying it. I'm sure will fire. If it's not, then I'm messed up then, right? Because I said, uh, I don't know what you guys do, but I know some people are going to get on the comments and be like, oh, you shouldn't carry a gun if you didn't take it to the range first and test it out, see if it even works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's why you keep backup just in case. <laughs> just in case that don't work. But anyways, yeah, so it's not really an unboxing, but to you guys, I've already been carrying it. I show you the host of that, carry it in and everything. So without further ado, you, as you guys know, it comes in this the infamous orange and white little bitty old tourist box, which is, eh, it is what it is. I mean, I paid two seventy nine dollars for it. Wouldn't expect to get a hard case and nice fancy stuff, all that. It is what it is, two seventy nine. dollars just need the gun to go bang, that's it. So, um, yeah, so as you know, it comes in this plastic. Like I said, it's not really I'm unboxing, so it came in this plastic here. Uh, comes with a lock that no one ever uses. You know, comes with the instruction manual, and for all you new gun owners out there, I would suggest that you guys read the owner's manual, um, learn how to function your firearm. You can learn videos on YouTube. There's video, plenty of videos on YouTube telling you guys suggestions, but at the end of the day, nobody on YouTube come to your rescue if your gun malfunction, malfunction in the field or if you ever got to use it for whatever reason. Uh, if you ever got to use it in a self-defense situation, your gun malfunction, anything like that, Nobody, you can't go to YouTube and figure out how to work it. So, you read the instruction, man. You learn the ins and outs of your firearm. Play with it, practice with it, take it to the range, get familiar with it, get trained, and be a responsible firearm owner. So, it comes with the, of course, the limited lifetime warranty, which I'm going to activate this as soon as I get off the phone. Uh, I mean, off the phone. As soon as I get done recording the video, I will do this. Um, then, it also comes with save. $30 on this laser here or whatever. 
Um, yeah, I'm not gonna use this. I don't really care for that lace. I don't even like the way it look on it, to be honest. Some people do. I'm not one of the ones that, uh, that do. So don't make me keep looking now. I gotta, uh, I keep looking out the window because I keep seeing cars right past. Um, you no, know, I don't have the window open. You can just see like, with my blind, through my blinds, you can see the, the, the vehicles right past. But anyways, it comes like that and um, it comes with the fire and it comes with three mags. So here you go, two of them. And these do. Now, if anybody else out there got toys G3C, let me know how you guys' mags came. Mine came, it says, I'm trying to see if you guys, I don't know if you guys can see it in the video. Uh, I, I'm recording this on my iPad, so I mean, I got it, the camera facing me, not the front camera, but the back camera. So hopefully I'm getting some good footage right here. And right here it says, I'm trying to get a little bit closer. Hopefully it clears up and you guys can see it. But anywho, in case you guys can't, it says PT-111 Pro. So I'm assuming this came from a PT-111 Taurus. Uh, don't know which one, but I, the only thing I can say about this, and I haven't taken it to the range yet to shoot it to, to know the fu how that function, but these mags, when I was loading them, they was like kind of stiff and loading. I don't know if it's because they super brand new and they haven't been broken in yet, but I did take the one mag apart and cleaned it or didn't see if it was going to be a little bit more softer. It should be a little bit more easier to load and it was still the same. So I'm assuming they got to go through a breakthrough cycle. Maybe after I run a few, uh, uh, shoot a few rounds through the mags or whatever and keep them loaded, maybe they'd be uh, a little bit better. But they do come with three rounds or whatever. Three 12 round magazines. So as you can see here, they got the six. Okay, you got the six and then got the 12 mark. So you can see when you fully load it here. So three 12 rounds, that's just two. And I also has, as you can see, safety is on. So when nobody be like, oh, you're putting it in an unsafe direction. Yeah, the safety is on. If the gun fire, that's a real problem. If it fire, well, it has no safety. But anyway, I go, get this box out the way. Uh, so yeah, I have, this is it right here, this G3C, which I'm gonna go ahead and take that out. As you guys can see, this is loaded. I guess I do carry this right now. This is one of my carry pistols. And, uh, just show you guys, There's nothing in there. So yeah, um, yeah, so what can I say about it? I mean, I like the gun, man. Like I said, I like the way it feels in my hand. Um, just, I, I like the way it feels, like with the even with the once you put the magazine in there, six plus. I mean, with that pinky extension, it, it, it just feels very good in the hand. And I, like I said, I feel like I just got all control of this little firearm right here. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just like his, his big brother right here that I own as well, which is the let me show you, which is the G3. I mean, it's not, it's not really too much of a big difference the one big difference big difference that you guys of course are going to know which is the obvious is the size difference that's a no-brainer it's going to be well for the technical ones i do who might be like oh i want to see the size comparison and there you go well you guys can see that in the video that is the size comparison the uh, g3 i believe is like a four inch barrel or something like that and the g2c i mean g3c is like a three point something inch barrel i don't know it's like a three inch something barrel so yeah that's how, that's how they look all the way around. I mean, they're pretty much identical. They are pretty much identical, you know, all the way through. Now, one big difference that I do notice is definitely the sight, the rear sights. As you can see, that from what I know, understand, and from just reading off the blogs and everything like that and seeing other videos on other Toro G3C is that, um. This is compatible with Glock. It's interchangeable with Glock sights. So I am gonna uh, not gonna put Glock sights on it, but I will put some different sights. I'm not gonna put different sights on all my firearms. Just haven't gotten around to it yet, as I explained to you guys with the whole COVID stuff going on and couldn't really get anything done. But yeah, they both had the same trigger on it. Uh, can't tell you like the exact poundage. So you probably had to find another video because I don't own one of those little trigger gauges where you can gauge the weight on it so I might do get one of those on a later video but I don't know uh, either way I go like I say I like these 
Um, I like the way both of them feel, actually. I like the way both of these feel. But I definitely like this uh, G3C. I mean, it's just so, it's so small and it's so compact. But I'm sure it's reliable. I will take it to the range. I can't say how it shoots because I haven't been to the range yet. I keep saying that, but we'll get a video for y'all. But other than that, I mean, I like it. it got the, like I said, got the front and rear serrations on it. So just like the G3 has, um, says to a G3C. On this one, they say it was made in Ban Ridge, Georgia. And on this one, it's made in Miami, Florida for the uh, G3. Um, yeah, I mean, take down, the take down of it is all um, still the, um, it's the same as before, as the G, G3. Take it down, you got the double spring in there. Um, I am going to switch out these guy rods with the stainless steel guy rods. You know, I like the way it look. I don't know if it's going to give it like a performance difference, but I am going to order them and change them out. Uh, yeah, so you put it all back on it. It functions. I mean, what can I say? Uh, guess you know, I know a lot of people want to be into the trigger pulls and everything, but as you can see, you see this, how I got it? I'm putting this all the way back, okay? Because it's not going to fire unless you push this uh, trigger safety in. So that's another safety features that they got on here. And I feel like, you know, well, the more safety features, the better. Especially if you got kids around and everything, there's nothing wrong with having safety features. It's not gonna, people make a big deal out of, out of oh, it got thumb safety, it got a trigger safety, it got that. Look here, if you know how to use a firearm, that's not gonna matter if you gotta use your gun. Trust me, it's not. You know what I mean? You would rather you have more safety features on there than you get into a, an intense situation which you didn't train for, which you didn't prepare for, and which I'm quite sure everybody's not out here preparing because if everybody had that time on their hand, I mean, come on now. Everybody don't have that time on their hand. I'm just being real with you. So for you to have a safety on your firearm that is good so you won't have a negligent discharge, uh, it happens. It happens to, you know, it, it happens. It can happen to the best of us. So, um... You don't want that to happen. So if you have more safety features on it, the better. And I gotta always tell people when people complain about thorn safeties, uh, my opinion is if you see a threat coming or if you feel it's a threat situation, you can always get ready. That don't mean brandish your firearm, take it out. It, it, assuming that somebody is trying to harm you. No, if you feel like the situation is not right and you don't have no way to retreat from the situation, you can always, if you get in your holster, you can click that safety off, okay? You can click that safety off and you can get ready. And if you get the ups first, you got the first squeeze on that trigger. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> so, and it takes it takes no effort to squeeze the trigger. So, like, I mean, if you get to this point right here, I mean, I don't know what how some people shoot, but if you can't pull the trigger, okay, if you squeeze in this part of the trigger and it's not engaging, I don't know what what what, what, are, you, what are you doing? Why are you you know why you don't have your finger on that trigger, squeezing that trigger? So, it's not a big deal to me. I like it. It don't matter to me. I don't care if the gun got safety or not. They all go bang because I know how to make them go bang, and I'm gonna make them go bang if it come down to that situation. So I'm not worried about that. But anyways, that's just me ranting. But either way I go, yeah, like I say, I like both of them. Um, yeah, I like them, man. It's pretty nice guns, man. Shout out to Taurus, man. Now one thing I I can say, which I said the same thing about this. I don't know if I can find like a company or find somewhere locally that can change the coating on the slide. I don't really care for this. It's, to me, it just, it just plain, but what do you expect for an under $300 gun right here? You don't expect the best of the best. You can't expect Glock, uh, Glock quality on the slab, and which I like Glock DLC slab. So if I can find somewhere that does that, the DLC uh, coating, I will get both of my tours is DLC coated. I would, both of the slabs, I would get them DLC coated. And I feel like with the DLC coating on here, it'll make this gun like completely different. It would, I mean, it would make it look very, very nice. So, yeah, so now what I carry it in, let me show you guys. I got this off Amazon, okay? It's called TAC Wolf. It's a TAC Wolf holster. It comes with this holster here, and it comes with two magazine pouches. So when I carry, okay, I keep one in the magazine pouch, okay? I keep one in the magazine pouch. I, I don't carry both of them. So I hope I will never have to use that much ammunition. But when I carry and I and this is like a nylon it's like nylon on the inside so it, it, you know it it's pretty it feels pretty good but 
it's a pretty soft holster and everything when I carry, okay? It is on safety, it's not nothing wrecked. So, again, when I carry, I just want to show this for you guys who want to um, think about maybe purchasing this firearm and need a holster for it and everything. It's fit flush in there like this. It fits flush. So this holster with two magazine pouches, it all come as a package. I paid 17 bucks for it off Amazon. So, yeah, so it's not going to come out. You know what I mean? It's not going anywhere. This elastic right here is holding on to it. It's not going anywhere. Um, yeah, even when you try to pull it out. So, and this, I feel like, is a good safety feature because what if somebody come behind you, they notice you, especially if somebody knows you got your firearm on you or you get into a conversation, you got to physically use your hands on somebody and you can't get to your firearm or you're trying to get to it and somebody wrestling you and they try to take it off. To me, that's a good safety feature because they can't get it off. They can win them like, man, it's not coming off. Like, it's not going to come off. You see what I'm saying? So, I know a lot of people going to be like, well, what if I got to get to my firearm and you got to go to too much? Like, look, as I stated before, if you see something going on, whereas you got to use your firearm, get ready. You see what I'm saying? You get ready like this. You can carry like this if you wanted to. You see what I'm saying? With, without this on it. You, you, you can carry like that. So that way you can, you can get ready. But what I want to show you guys is how it actually looks when you concealing it. So me, I do both. I do side carry and I do a pants carry. So neither one bothers me. So I'm going to show you guys how it looks on both ends. So see, this is me without the firearm on me. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see. It's me without the firearm and it's me with a pen carry. And the thick snug right, right there on your belt. So you see how low it sits? You see what I'm saying? So you can bring it up like so, it'll stay like that. Or you can push it down low, depending on how you want to carry. So if you're in the summertime and you want to go out for a run or a jog, you see that? Nobody knows you got it with you. Same thing, a magazine pouch. You can carry the magazine pouch any way you want. Hell, even if you want to carry it in your pocket like that, you can. But put that on you like that. Look at that. Nobody know. You mind your business. You just walking. You know. You walking. You mind your business. Running, doing whatever. Nobody knows. You see what I'm saying? And like I say, if somebody, if, if somebody ever tried to get it off, it's not. It's not going anywhere. Even that. Even that holster is not going anywhere. So it's is it's good. It's a good safety feature. Like I, like I told you before, if you ever feel like you need to use your firearm, that's all you gotta do. Get ready, you know, get ready, that's it. You can walk and carry just like that. If you ever need it, you're good. You're good to go. So, yeah, so um, that's that right there. So I know you guys gonna probably be looking for, oh, for the ones too, who have like a light. Let me show you. This is my Glock 19. Let me show you guys this. This is my Glock 19. I know the video is not about this, but just showing you guys for educational purposes. Um, if you ever want to, you can use a Glock 19 as well. I'll just my way show you the sensors on the video. I'm going to use a Glock 19 in this. I can show you how it sit. It will sit up top just like this. And this has an O-Light on the PL Mini 2. See what I'm saying? So, yeah, you're going to print a little bit. You're going to print a little bit, but... I mean, what the hell? But you can also make it where it don't print. Let me show you. If you take the light off. Okay, you take the light off. Look at that. See what I'm saying? It says flush. So that's nothing I want to show you anyways. I wanted to show you how this will fit. Maybe like said, so if you got a like a little light attachment on it. But just this look to me a little pretty damn nice with this little whole light on it. But if you want to put this in, you can carry that as well. So it's very versatile. It's a very versatile holster. And you can you're good to carry. So I mean, yeah. It work it works for me. So I mean, you gotta get what works for you at the end of the day. I'm not trying to get you guys to convince it, but for like if somebody who need a holster or anything like that and they can't find one that's affordable for them. And they don't want to pay all that money for it. Like I told you, Amazon is called TAC Wolf. TAC, T A C Wolf. Okay, it's called TAC Wolf. And uh, yeah, you can go on there and you can, um, you can purchase you a, you purchase you a um, 
uh, a hosted for you G3C because I, I don't know there's no telling when the next time they're going to come out with um with a, a hosted for one if they don't have, already have one out that's not overpriced so this hosted here this goes to my G3 I didn't try this out yet so this is going to be my first time experiencing it along with you guys to see how it fits this came from Concealment Express so let me see hey it works look at that it works it works it's, you heard the little click. It works. I mean, you got some nice little room on there, but other than that, it works. You see what I'm saying? So for the ones who want a hard holster, anything like that, you know, you can, this, it's got the retention right here. This is adjustable. So however you want it to be on person, um, it covers up the trigger card very well. And uh, it's, it's like a little bit flexed out right here. So it won't hit your mag release. But it fits. Hmm. I didn't ever try this, so this is a experience for both of all of us together. And we're gonna see how it how concealable it is and how it looks. So this is for the ones who don't like the nylon holster. I'm sorry, my belt kind of thick in it. But anywho, this is it. Comes out just like so. And it I mean, it fits for us too. It, I mean, because it, it fits. It works. It works. So, I mean, like I say, you, you got to get what, what, what works best for you and you go from there. Let's see. So, if you guys have a look from the side, I want to get it flush with my belt. Mm -hmm. I don't really matter. But anyways, from the side view, this is how it would look. So, I mean, I try to get a little bit more flush up on that, but the uh, that little piece right there. But anyway, go. Let's have a look from the side. So, yeah. So, yeah, that's that. Um, that is the Tora G3C. Uh, I'm not gonna make a super long video. I feel like the video was just pretty long as it was. Enough. Let's talk about this firearm. Uh, yeah, so that's what I carry my G3 in. But yeah, so like I said, if you get a chance, if I was you guys, I go pick it up. I mean, why not? If you I mean pick a choice between this and the, and the, and the um, G2C, neither one is a bad option in my eyes, in my opinion. So, like I said, you got to get what you like, get what you can afford. Uh, if you want an affordable carry gun, this will. This is the winner right here. To be honest with you, um, under 300 bucks. It's a 12 plus one capacity, so 13 rounds. Um, if you come with three magazines, so you got 13 plus an additional 24. Okay, so you should be able to get the job done within the first few rounds. But if you need to, hey, you got... um. You got 37 rounds to play with so like i say and the only reason why i like this again the reason why i like this um this this holster because it comes with two magazine pouches and the in and the holster for 17 bucks you can't beat that i mean you can walk around with deal with this new ammunition you don't have to you know if god forbid you you, you load it you're ready to go um so what i do carry in this that's my carry on i carry this federal What's this? Federal Premium uh, HST Hollow Point. So this is all I could find at the time. Like I told you, once the panic buying started, everything ran out. We couldn't really find anything. I couldn't really find anything. So I mean, I had to get what I can get. At the end of the day, they all go bang. They all do damage. But you know, you want to find a good ammunition, anyways, to run in your own um, firearm that you know gonna work. And there's no gonna eliminate the threat should it be one. So yeah, like I said, if you like what you're seeing on the video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. And like I said, once I get a chance, I will be showing you guys a range video on this in comparison to my G3, show you the difference between maybe you know, the accuracy between both of them and how they both function and everything like that. I'm gonna run probably two, three different ammo types in them to see how they both function with it. And 
I mean, we're going we gonna to go from there. Like I said, I'm trying to get this channel going and growing, and we will do that. I will do that with you guys' support, put to you like that. So, uh, like I said, I will try to get back to the videos as soon as possible um, and give you guys more content. I also got something else that I bought, too. Now, I ain't going to discuss that yet, but y'all going to see it. Y'all going to see it. It's coming to the channel. It's already bought. Just, just be patient with me. I'm going to show you, get a video out. I'm going to show you guys. It's... This channel gonna grow. I just put it to you like that. I got a lot of content I'm bringing to the channel. I can't put it all in one video because that's content. And I want to keep on creating more and more for you guys. So yeah, once again, if you guys want to see anything in the video, want to see me do anything, you got any suggestions, any ideas, feel free to let me know. Comment. I do when I get a chance. I do comment back. I uh, do interact with my uh, with, with everybody, with the subscribers. So yes, I appreciate you guys for watching, and see you guys later.